you are back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I'm performing at this sober festival over the weekend and I'm getting some emails from the promoter and it doesn't seem like ticket sales are going too well. Can you believe that? Does that make any sense to anyone? Fucking Burning Man, you have to slit a family member's fucking throat just to get a ticket to fucking use a pile of human shit as a pillow and take drugs. The ecstatic sober festival, you actually have to abduct a family member to drag them there. (laughs) I tell you what would start moving fucking tickets at the sober festival. Some booze. (laughs) Some booze and some drugs. Just say, look, it's a sober event, but if you want to sneak in a hip flask of vodka... Or take a couple of tabs of acid before you come in. Look, we're going to turn a blind eye. The comedy stage is actually called the mushroom stage. That's where I'll be performing, the mushroom stage. I might microdose before I go. I've still got some shrooms lying around somewhere. The other thing I found out about this fucking sober event is it's all ages. You can fucking take your kid. There's going to be underage kids there. Who the fuck wants to go to that? At least make it 18 and over. And what fucking 16-year-old dork wants to go to a fucking sober event? Unless you go in there drunk to see a band you like there or something, I don't get it. I'm totally for this sober event, but I'm starting to realise you're probably not going to get the party crowd at a sober event. It's hard because sober people can also just go to, like, Burning Man as well. Just not take the drugs or the alcohol. And at least there you'll get to see some fucking wild shit. You'll get to see some fucking titties out there. You'll get to see some fucking German cock. Just some weird German guy in a sombrero who thinks it's all right to walk around with his dick out once a year. Probably a hedge fund manager of some sort. So sober people can also just go to the fucking fully alcohol-cated and drug-cated events. And generally that's where the good bands go too. I totally get the fucking idea behind the sober event. I wanted to fucking put on a sober event if I ever got big enough. This is a stark warning against that. The other thing is, like, to get a sober cunt out of their house to go to something like that, the incentives need to be... Well, the incentives need to be booze or drugs. The only reason you really go to fucking dance parties or music festivals or fucking doofs or raves, or anything like that, is to take drugs and get drunk. That's the incentive. The music is really just an excuse to take the drugs and drink the booze. The only other reason you'd go to this event is to perform. And that's why I'm going. I would like something like this to fucking be able to work for sober cunts, because you need somewhere to meet other sober people other than AA. You know what I mean? (laughs) AA and church. They're the only two places sober cunts are going to meet like-minded people. AA, like bottom of the barrel cunts, and church, fucking Puritan cunts. There needs to be something in the middle. I feel like I'm the middle. You need somewhere for the common man to go. Those other two things, you've got to hand yourself over to God. What you need to do is hand yourself over to Boyle. You're in safe hands here. No, you need some of that middle ground for cunts that are just like, yeah, you know, fucking, I had a good run, but I keep getting arrested and saying crazy shit, almost dying and almost getting divorced. So I'm not going to drink anymore. I still like the idea. You cunts do whatever you want, but I'm just going to drink some tea until my teeth turn fucking bright yellow. The thing you really need is, if you're sober, you need somewhere to meet fucking, like, girls or guys. Because that would be difficult. Fuck, I forgot about the email fucking old mate in Canada sent me. He's like, he found a girl, she was great. Then he told her he was sober and she dumped him. Something along those lines. I'll find the email and read it out. But it would be nice for, like, normal sober cunts to be able to find other, like, normal sober cunts. That's what you need more than a dance party is like a sober singles night. Just no one gets laid. (laughs) 
<laughs> everyone realizes, ugh, are these my choices? Are these my options? Can you turn the fucking light down? These options look a lot better after a bottle of fucking gin, I can tell you that right now. Anyway, I'll be there on Saturday if you want to come down to the Ecstatic Sober Festival. I'm doing 10 minutes on the mushroom stage. On mushrooms, probably. Anyway, that will fucking do for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. Hit me up on social media on Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you the fuck later.